Tippy time, my damies, Top Cat here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special one for you, as Bungie had lied to us. They had told us they are getting rid of one-shot things inside of the Crucible, particularly bows. Monarchs were rife with issues of this, but uh, they introduced a new legendary bow this season called the Strident Whistle, and uh, this thing can one-shot. Yeah, she uh, she pretty broken. Look at that, 209. Strident Whistle is the first precision frame bow that comes with Adrenaline Junkie. Upon getting a grenade kill, it's going to shoot straight up to Adrenaline Junkie at times 5, and you're going to be hitting at 209 for a headshot that is one shot easily. I've always enjoyed the bow playstyle and gameplay, but this is easily the best that they've ever felt, in my opinion, outside of Monarch being cheesy as they were, but this just feels fun. Not only is it fun, it also feels like you are rewarded for the, the kills. You know, you're not just given it like you were in Powering Rift Monarch. This, you actually have to work to get. So we're going to set up for this build specifically using a young Ahamkara Spine build. The exotic perk, Wish Dragon Teeth, increased drip mine duration. And this is going to make it a lot easier to get that Adrenaline Junkie propped. Because if we use the young Ahamkara's Wumbo Combo, which is the explosive throw knife and the trip mine, it's pretty easy to get a grenade kill, get that Adrenaline Junkie up to 5 straight away to get that one shot kill. Because once you've got that Adrenaline Junkie times 5 up and running, you feel a lot more confident with the bow. Because normally it's like, oh I've got to peek twice to get the kill. Now you just get to peek around the corner and just get that one shot off and it feels so rewarding. You don't necessarily have to run the young Ahankara spine build to get this to work, but I found this the most efficient and reliable way to get that Adrenaline Juggy times 5 up and running. I don't have the gold roll, obviously I'll run perpetual motion there. You want polymer spring, you're going to want straight fletching ideally, and for a masterwork either handling accuracy or draw time are all good. I unfortunately got stability, which is probably the worst thing, but Adrenaline Junkie is the perk you want first and foremost to make this build really shine. Kacha, you just got wasted. Love it. I would however say this isn't a build you can just slap on and go. You have to be proficient at using a bow or you know obtain to get better at it as you still need to use this on your everyday kills. You're not always going to be getting a grenade kill every single engagement you go into so you still need to be able to use a bow proficiently and enjoy doing so. So this isn't like the old plop down an empowering rift and just go ham with your monarch. You, you still need to have the old two tap play style in your back pocket to be able to utilize it. But when you get that adrenaline junkie pop up, you do feel just so much stronger and your balls get bigger and you can just go straight in there and just get aggressive with the bow. Whereas I tend to find the bow is a little more peak shooty, mid range. You can get a little bit more aggressive and I, I love it. It's so much fun. For my class, I'm using Knock em Down, of course. Radiance gives us more knives. On Your Mark gives us more handling and reload. Trip Mine is a must, obviously. And Proximity Throwing Knives are good for the one-bow combo, but they're also just good for those cross-map kills. People never expect them. So you're always going to have knives on you. We use a Gambler's Dodge. This helps give us the knives. And that way you can get that one-bow combo off multiple times, as they are quite devastating and just great for the build as itself. The trip mine grenade is already one of the best grenades I could say there is for Solo 3.0. It is highly utilized on Warlocks, Titans and Hunters alike so it only makes sense to be rocking this uh, grenade on our Hunter. You see how devastating they are. Very very strong. For fragments I'm using Ember of Eruption, Ember of Torches, Ember of Singeing, Ember of Ashes and Ember of Solace. Some of these fragments are for ignitions, I'm not using them for that, I'm using them just to get the most uptime on my melee and grenade as I can, as this is a grenade and bow build. So I want as much uptime with grenade to make the bow shine the most, but you can't be using bows 100% of the time. For a primary weapon I'm either using a last word submachine gun or a sidearm, something close combat but also has primary ammo. You could run a shotgun, but I prefer inside of this meta to be running 
uh, a sidearm. I'm using the Red King in this case. It's like folding up a little Night Stalker and putting him inside your gun, giving him a worm husk, and just going kachar. This gun is quite underrated, I would have to say, being a year one gun. Not many people use it, but I love it. Sidearms are hugely popular this season, and I would recommend dusting this thing off and giving it a crack, as you might find some utility to it. I know I have this full auto sidearm turns you invisible after a reload and also gives you a health bump. You see me regening there, I could have easily died inside of that grenade. Got the reload done and got me my womb husk attributes, healing myself. So good. And inside that 15 meter kill range, it is actually really strong. For my armor, I have gone with double bow targeting on my helmet, focusing strike and bow reloader, radiant light and unplinging bow aim, Powerful friends, may as well use the sidearm holster, classy restoration, and the utility kickstart. You smash all this together and you've got a very strong build. Like, this weekend in Trials, there was a lot of pulse rifles, a lot of snipers, and I ran in there with a Rat King, a Strident Whistle, and some young Ahamkaras, and got my flawless pretty damn easily, to be honest. It was a lot of fun and felt different and unique, and that's what I like about this game. I like playing with different builds and not always running the same gun over and over and over again. This build gives you the power fantasy and I highly recommend giving it a go for yourself. Anyway my damies, that is the build for today. Like if you liked, sub if you really liked. Comment down below if you've got any questions or just want to chat and until next time, tippy time my damies, what a tie.